Welcome back to a little shop check. We have uh, Sun Up Cycles, 9 Church Street, Brunswick in Melbourne. And we're going to talk to Toby as well. So yeah, let's check it out. Cool little shop, this one. Uh, I looked on the website and I thought I thought it was way smaller. And when I went in, it's actually way bigger. They got one room in the front and a bigger room at the back. They build and work on all different types of bikes. You can see some of the older style ones here. Kyoga Miata. Specialize me out another Shogun Groundbreaker, so yeah, pretty cool builds. Here's a Ricardo, this is a Japanese made Australian brand, I think. Uh, we'll do a little bike check on this later, and then yeah, just kind of cool posters. Had a pretty cool vibe to it, pretty chill, had nice plants and stuff. You can see uh, not lacking wheels at all up there. I think these are all 700c wheels. Uh, could be wrong, but yeah, a bunch of tires all hung up. Nice little cabinet at the front, some nice parts, some Dior, uh, you know, XTR, Soul System, XT cassette, some Velo Orange stuff, some Paul stuff, three TT stuff, and some crank sets here as well. Um, on the counter, you got some speed lube or <laughs> brakes oil. And then you have this cool little model thing. And then just behind the counter you have uh, just accessories. So yeah, locks and stuff and fenders, if you need fenders mounted on. Uh, tires, more tires here. Pretty stocked up. You can kind of see when you walk in. Uh, here it leads to the bigger area at the back. And then we've got kitchen where Toby makes all his food. You can see the little sandwich press and coffee maker. Um, a little bit more junk here but I don't know if you wanted me to film that but here it is. Uh, his little wheel building table with the wheel stand and all the tools. And this is pretty cool I think. Seeing how people set up this stuff. You can see all the spokes in those little PVC pipes. Some other old jerseys and old silica pump. Pretty cool. You can see this little reflector with it. Is that, that kookaburra, maybe? I'm not sure. And then, yeah, oh, Avocet bottle, Yeti bottle, old uh, Randonese bag, some of these customer bikes he's been working on or fixing up. A uh, bunch here. A couple of classics in there. Uh, this maroon one is Toby's bike. I think he's, he must be working on it or something. And then this is another customer spike here another old school one old school racer picked it up but yeah pretty cool I think he's got tons of frames as well up the top pretty high ceiling I think the ceiling is yeah it almost goes like two stories I don't know how, how, how high it is exactly but it's pretty high here's the cleaning tray <laughs> I wish I had one of these it's, it's massive um, and then yeah some more of those nice frames at the top and then you can see here is work wall with all the tools. Pretty amazing, um, all set up, ready to go. An old school kind of stand. I don't know who made this, but it seems super solid. And then uh, a little pump, uh, air, air pump, compressor. You can see a little DIY uh, cockpit. And here's the workbench, pretty clean. Got all these tools up there. Tons of stuff. Um, I thought this box was pretty cool with all the little <laughs> little parts. I need to do something like this with all my random bearings and screws and headset cups and uh, crank crank bolts, all that kind of stuff. Here's some extra accessories, seat posts, stuff like that. And then it's got tons more frames at the top as well. You can see all these old school frames, ready to be a build up. Some um, MBKs. Nice French company. Some Cannondale, some Giants. Yeah, it's got a lot, a lot to choose from. And then he has a little upstairs area, just small for storage, I think. But he can kind of see the whole shop. So yeah, overall pretty cool. I kind of I definitely geeked out on all the stuff. But yeah, let's. Uh, <laughs> I managed to get Toby to agree to answer some questions. So yeah, here it is. I'm a bike mechanic, obviously, a passionate bike mechanic. I've been in Melbourne the over since my early 20s, but I actually grew up on the mid-north coast of New South Wales, a town called Bellingen. 
Commuting around Melbourne, actually, I wasn't one of those kids that was always on a BMX or a mountain bike. I rode bikes. I played other sports, to be honest, ball sports. Um, yeah, so I wasn't, I don't feel like I have necessarily that like, I've always ridden bikes that yeah, other yeah. bike mechanics have, but actually when I moved to Melbourne in my early 20s, it was commuting around on, on a bike as transport that really got me into cycling. I guess it's where I should say, like, to serve all the riders of Melbourne, you know, make people happy, work on all sorts of bikes, which is, you know, yeah, 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 almost entirely true. true. Yeah. Um, sure. But also, I just love hanging out in bike shops and always, and yeah, have for yeah. a long time. So the idea of having my own one was kind of like the dream, I guess. Oh, awesome. And you work for a while for other bosses, and which is great. But then you think, oh, I'd like to do it myself. Oh, that's like, I guess that's a complicated answer. Yeah, I'm only yeah. learning like the intricacies of running your own business. Probably and, uh, a lot more responsibility and stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah, extracurricular stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's cool. Working for someone else is, is great because you yeah. just block off. Um, but I guess the best employees take on a little bit of the feeling of the boss of like, taking responsibility right right which i tried to do too but yeah. it's never the same as i've realized as having your own shop yeah 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 now it's like yeah you, it's all it's all on you right? yeah <laughs> thanks for reminding me yeah, no worries um look the focus is servicing and repairs okay that's cool. like you know what i'm passionate about awesome, just keeping yeah. bikes rolling yeah 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 making little upgrades you know whether cool. it's better tires for someone yeah. who's commuting right um improvement in their position more comfort yeah um new accessories like and just keeping bikes rolling and then the extra stuff on top of that is just like building up custom builds for people frame up builds nice or um restoring and putting together older bikes for sale awesome that right like new bikes is the idea i guess what now that i own the bike shop i i can choose what music is always playing oh, that's cool that's there's awesome. never any debate <laughs> right so, right yeah hard one to pick when you got when you got so many um this is an internal cable routing kit with magnets i mean there's the famous park to one this is a pro one but i actually love working on bikes with silly internal cable routing new flash ones i actually find it quite satisfying um so yeah that's a fun thing often you just end up poking around with a spoke and an old cable to get internal cable routing done but when the magnets work super fun this one's good because it's got the little attachment for a di2 so you can even, I did a DI2 bike, so electronic wiring for the gears. So it literally has this tiny little thread. So you would run the magnet through the frame. So you would guide that through the frame, like a big carbon tubed frame. This would, and then this would run down inside the frame. And then you would then connect that to say the DI2 wire to pull the DI2 wire through. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Tools for working on older bikes. Yeah. Call this the brush turkey. <laughs> or the, yeah. It's a frame alignment gauge, so it's good for like, because I do a lot of setting of old road bikes, so you, you widen the rear triangle to get a bigger hub in there. This just quickly checks the alignment of the rear triangle to the head tube, um, so that's a fun tool. And then this is a tool of my own invention, or I mean, there's a lot of mechanics do this. This is a funny little setup to thread like an old quill stem if you want to get a handlebar through it without scratching the nice logos on the bar. I'm sure this might just be like obvious to some people, but it's a cool trick where if you run a tiny little bolt, a tiny little nut and a 10 cent coin, so then it's actually gonna subtly open up yeah, the quill yeah, stem. Yeah, so you're not gouging everything with a screwdriver. Right, right. Pro, pro yeah. mechanics. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. It's hard to pick a favorite. Um, practicality wise, like 90s hybrids and mountain bikes, Mm -hmm. So good for all sorts of riding. You can build them up to be unique and fun. For sure, yeah, yeah. Um, and then a little bit more niche would be like certain types of 70s and 80s road bikes. They right. would have been called like sport or sport touring bikes. Cool. Japanese ones that can take like, some of them can take 35 mil tires, beautiful yeah, lugged yeah. kind of frames like that. Um, they can build up to be such nice town bikes or touring bikes. Yeah. For sure. What do you want to know about the bike, Gary? Uh, <laughs> I guess just, yeah, just go through uh, from, yeah, from the top, like kind of what components yeah, cool. it has. So and... vintage mountain bike, but kind of pre, pre the full on 90s geometry. So it's a bit of a slacker head tube, slacker seat tube. Nice right. long chain stays. Cool, um, cool. Funky U-brake on the back. Yeah. And lugged steel, so super strong. Mm. I mean, you got to love this kind of Calippo icy pole paint job. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> And yeah, these make such such reliable bikes and these sort of frames like that, that's pretty pretty much as bomb proof as it gets. 
funky stem, integrated kind of cable stop. Cool. Um, and yeah, surprisingly adequate brakes. That's a cool headset too. Yeah, yeah, it is actually uh, yeah. running well. So you uh, built these wheels as well? Yeah, yeah, so these are hand-built wheels, yeah. so um, stainless spokes, like cartridge nice. spring hubs. You, you offer that, uh, I guess, as part of it? Absolutely, wheel building is a big yeah. passion of mine. Yeah. Okay, good, cool. Yeah. I have a non-drive side. <laughs> That's right. You get you get roasted for sure for that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is just a mint condition '90s touring bike. Nice. Um, don't see a lot of these in Australia. Yeah. Pretty Incredible right. paint job. These are original wheels. These pretty sweet oh, yeah. Mavic rims. Like look at that decal. Yeah, like untouched, right? Looks almost yeah, brand new. Yeah, yeah. Very, very lightly ridden. Yeah. Super wide range gearing, and then I jazzed up a bit with the nice Brooks and cool. A head kind of adapter. Yeah. Nice. nice compact drop bars. Um, cool. Yeah, sort of bike you don't see every day. No, it looks great. That head badge is uh, you don't really see. No. That style of head badge that much as well. And I put yeah. the serial number on the head too. Very practical. Very what's, the, what's this um, brake thing here? This, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's just like, I guess it's to avoid any cable rub on the paint. It's oh, kind wow, of like a nifty, cool. like super solid way to do it. Very European, I feel. Yeah, I've never, I never <laughs> seen that before. No. That's like first time I see that. And what's the, what's the tubing do we have? It's this, um, I don't know. Yeah, so something so fancy. Five. It's got like all this kind of real strong like, um, oh, yeah, like, like the tubing takes like... a kind of weird bias there. Yeah, so yeah. it's for a stiffness because it's a touring bike. So we would have loaded this up with, you know, front for and sure. rear panniers. Yeah, this is a beautiful bike. Mm. It's amazing. I mean, got the matching... Uh, yeah, yeah, it came with matching cranks. <laughs> wow, super sick. Awesome. <laughs> people out there. Yeah, um, about there. I guess cycling tip, yeah. oh this is more like old man yells at cloud kind of tip. Yeah. Be nice to pedestrians. Right, right, yeah that's good. Like commuting cool. around in town, I think there's a lot of shared really great bike paths in Melbourne that we yeah. share with pedestrians, but I do see a lot of cyclists kind of being a bit aggro and it yeah. always brings me down. Always takes like one experience, right? And then that person just does, hates cycling. Yeah, just hate cycling forever. And they hate cycling. Yeah, anymore. yeah. And yeah. So I'd say just kind of in, try and embody the joy of cycling every time you go on your bike if you can. Yeah, that'd be yeah. my. That'd be yeah, my that's a good tip. one. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm in Nine Church Street, Brunswick, cool. down a little back street just behind Ligon Street. Um, yeah. Actually, very close to the big Trek shop on Ligon Street. Okay, cool. Yeah, open Tuesday to Saturday. Awesome. Until 5 p.m. Open early, like nine or something? Nine, yeah. 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 I guess I'd shout out all the other amazing bike shops, especially in the yeah. inner north of Melbourne. Like, right. if you're a cyclist, and especially if you live in the inner north, like, man, you are spoiled. It's just incredible when you think about it. Like, there's some great bike shops. Yeah, Melbourne, building up the like. community and everything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Black. Black. Okay, great. Retro. <laughs> <laughs> Could you be that guy? Chump suit, so. Yeah. There's a lot of lost, what? you know, things that never quite took off in these magazines. You just had these around or? Oh, I acquired these them? at a swap meet years oh, ago. Oh, cool. A but couple of 80s. What, yeah, the 80s, right? 84. This is from the, uh, the peak of the kind of touring era. Wow. It's a lot of cool info about like when bike touring. Yeah, it was like huge. It was right? huge actually. Yeah. Like before there was kind of bike packing, but everyone was doing it on like, what are that? What are those? Maybe 25s, big fat. Right, so right, right. 25 right, mil yeah, tires. Yeah. <laughs> going, going hard on those. Yeah. So yeah, when Toby was helping out a customer, I ended up filming his bike that he rides. You can see no top cap. I kind of, I have the same on my dad bike at the moment. Uh, got some front rack going on with the world. I think Nido front rack. Got some fat tires. Giant frame. I think these are Dior cranks, crank, crank stamp pedals, DIY rack mount. Uh, don't know what saddle that is, but yeah, looks pretty sweet. Looks like it, it's the workhorse. Go, does pretty well. That's pretty good. And here it is from the other side, drive side. Here's another one of Toby's uh, nicer bikes. This is uh, has a super nice paint job on it. I'll center and. Um, I think it's probably set late 70s, early 80s, 
could I could be wrong, but yeah, just correct me in the comments. Um, has a little dynamo there, nice slugs, uh, super awesome. Uh, Grand Compe stem, yeah, those slugs again. Friction shifting, cool little tight face of the on the down tube, and White Industries crank, LX on the rear, pretty cool. And yeah, these are uh, Velo Orange brakes, rim brakes. This is 700C, book saddle, a little saddle bag. Yeah, pretty neat. I think it's uh, Champion tubing. Looks good. And then here's another one of his bikes, Cannondale uh, H400. You can see there, pretty cool paint on this one. It kind of changes color when you look at a different angle, but yeah, it has the avid brakes, running tram. Got the comfy grips, a uh, little wall basket and bag up the front. H plus sun rims, pretty beat up but pretty nice I think. Pretty fun bike, a little light on the back. And then uh, yeah, just Richie bottle running the uh, down tube shifter for the front derailleur, which is uh, an old school Lance Armstrong thing I think. <laughs> Here we just do it to save weight, from what I've read anyway, and then yeah, tram on the back. But yeah, pretty cool bike. It's got some frames up here too, pretty nice. And I don't know what this big white box is. And yeah, this is the frame that I actually got of Toby. Uh, so super stoked on this, this is going to be the next build I think. Pretty hyped on it, uh, I think it's going to be a nice, uh, nice rigid bike, and then here Shout out to Toby, he donated this one uh, to me. Uh, it's a wheeler and it has a one and one quarter head tube, so I gotta sort that out. Big thank you to Toby for letting me come and film and uh, annoy him with a few questions. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it a bunch, it was cool checking out the shop. Um, if you guys like these types of videos, let me know, I can try to make more happen. If you're ever in the area, yeah, feel free to walk in and check his shop out, it's a pretty nice guy. He's also on Instagram, I'll put all the details in the description and I'll catch you next one. Peace. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, no worries.